Okay, so the reason why I decided to create this video is because I ran into this issue when I was doing the uh, validation of a program. So let's see, when I do this one, import the geometry. So the problem I'm trying to solve to validate actually is the shear. So I create two plates, as you can see, and then we create the shear problem. But here, I just wanted to mesh the plates with solid elements. So if I come here, I'm going to deactivate the ball, the knot, and the lower, and I have this plate. So initially, what I tried to do is just to go to mesh, mesh control, size on solid, okay? And the thickness is a quarter of an inch, so I say, okay, X mesh, let's do a half of 0.25, which is 0.125, all right, here. So perfect, and actually, if you come here and say mesh, geometry, X mesh, it works really good. Wow, uh, okay, load, 0.24, okay, okay, uh, okay. You see right here, this is perfect. I mean, that looks pretty good. But then I wanted to refine around the hole because that's the part that I really want to check the value of the stresses. So like on the surface, I try to come here, geometry editing, I think it's bad, and I say add the washer over here. And you come here, you select this curve and this curve. And it does what I ask you to do, but everything comes up in red, saying that there's an issue, and even if you say that I'm trying to run it, it gives some form. So what I'm trying to do is to do exactly the same thing, but without showing up this error. So I hope that they're gonna resolve this issue in a newer version, but uh, the only way around this that I find out is, so Control Z, Control Z, let me come here to model. Let's see if the material was saved now. So let me save the material here. The 2024, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. All right, so cancel, let's activate this one. So basically what I did is just to mesh on the surfaces. So mesh, geometry surface. So I mesh the top one and the bottom one. Uh, let's see, bottom one. This one. Okay, and I need to create this new property, which just is the plate or shell of thickness uh, 0.1 to 5. Okay. And I said, okay. Uh, okay. All right, so that works perfect. You see, same as before. But now, if I come here to this menu, to geometry editing, let's say pad, and uh, add the washer over here. All right, if I come and select this curve here and this curve here, it does exactly as expected. Then if I want to do some refinement of the mesh, I can come down here, mesh size. I want to multiply by two. And uh, let's say I want to optimize very close to your hole, so let's say here, and do the same thing on the other side, here, click OK, and you see the refinement over here, I need the refinement over here, OK? If you want, we could also do it over here, whatever you want, OK? Let's do it if you want, so let's do this one, let's see if it works here, and here, OK, all right, so we have a nice mesh. All right, so we only mesh the surfaces. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extrude these elements towards the center. I could extrude from top to the bottom, but I'm scared that then the uh, you won't be able to keep the elements attached to the surface. So uh, what I do here is mesh, extrude, elements. So you can do through surface, but since this one is so easy, start selecting surfaces. Let me do pick box. And let's first pick all the top ones. Oops, what happened here? Okay, and not to the box. So mesh, exude, elements, pick. Let's see if both of them work. I go and select the surfaces. 
Okay, that doesn't want to fix. So let's just say method on surface. All right, I select this top surface, but then you have to select all the different surfaces on top. Okay. All right, so now let's say normal. Property should be solid. Okay, as it's doing. Elements on like one. And now something I'm unsure, do I need to be positive? So delete original. Okay. So length would be, I don't know if I need to put positive or negative. My guess would be that negative because on the negative Z, but that depends on how is the elements are oriented. And I didn't check before. So if, that, if it goes up, I just need to change the value. Okay, so we're lucky. All right, so you see it went down. Now we do the same thing with the bottom. So mesh, extrude elements, method on surface. So let's select this bottom surface here. I don't want to select the bottom surface. All right, here we go. And now this one, this one. This one, not the center ones. Three and four. Okay. So we do exactly the same thing. One. Okay. And here we'll keep also the negative because I think the element would be then oriented on the opposite direction. But maybe not. We we'll find out. Okay. All right. So you see, we're lucky here. And now what we need to do is to uh, uh, to uh, join all the coincident nodes in the middle. So you go to Tools, Check, Coincident Nodes, select all, okay. If you do the preview, you have all the ones in the middle. It looks about right. And you click Done, okay. And now you see that this mesh is the same as before, but we don't have the error. And now this one, you can use this mesh to, to do the problem validation, okay? So if uh, I'm not gonna do it here, but for example, now you would do exactly the same thing for this plate, all right? And then we just mesh the bolt and the nut, but that will be on um, another video. I just want to do one about the meshing of the solid. Okay, so control A, and that will be it. Thank you for your attention. And again, if uh, you want to find the files of all this stuff, uh, Johnny have them uh, on a website. Let's see here. On this website here, for example, you see other ones here. If you open, let's say this one, you will generally see the video from YouTube, but then you should have, oops, not for this file should be simple enough, but sometimes when the file is not simple enough, I generally put the source file. You see, here it says source files are the two connection and you download should be all the files. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. If you go to this website, probably you will see it added somewhere over here. And you can download the, the models of the final element model. All right, so let's go finish here.